previously on the studio space. Bree and Bradley have been putting their artistic abilities to the test in this ultimate pancake challenge. They have been making the mightiest heroes, the baddest of villains, and everything in between. The score is tied up one to one, but who will win this pancake off? Find out right now! Let's see who I get for round three. Superhero Moanne? Oh, she's so cute! Cool. Time for me to get ahead of Bree. Oh! Wee oui, wee, oui, we are doing Gustav! Ah, interesting villain choice. Sorry, Gus, but uh, I'm giving you a mustache today. And now, it's time for the final round. Our competitors are tied up one to one, but who will be our ultimate winner? It's a face off between Gustav and Super Loan. Let's see who's gonna take home the win. Starting off, I need to do his like pupils, uh, his eyebrows, and, and his mustache. Yeah, I'm already uh, at a loss because she has a lot of details and she has really skinny arms and legs. So I'm a little worried for the fate of her limbs. Got these outlines going for Gustav's eyes. Make sure that we don't go too far. Those are some very good looking eyeballs if I do say so myself. I'm not stumped, I know exactly what I'm doing. Said the person who never knew what they were doing. No, uh, it's like, I, uh, it's fine. She has long, beautiful hair. We're gonna make sure we do her hair justice. Okay, we're, I, I'm feeling okay, but that's only because Brie keeps, Brie keeps making uh, sounds that make it sound like she's not doing okay. Yeah, I'm not doing okay. She has like, oh, this is terrible. Like, just, just so bad. I feel like she says that all the time though, and then she ends up doing like, all right. So my mess ups are way worse than Brie mess up. So she could still be doing good. That's pretty bad, guys. Gotta get his tongue. Nice little gatory tongue. Gotta make sure I do Gustav's back gator. Are they scales? Are, they, are those the scales? No. Yeah, I think they're scales. Scales? What am I, a fish? You know what? Never mind. Just make sure you don't forget my mustache. <laughs> that hand is so bad. It's fine, guys. Everything is fine. She has weird fingers. This is just a black outline of creepiness. You're I just didn't... not seeing the full picture yet. I see just barely the together. white of her eyes, and the it's pink of her tongue. So cute! I'm just hitting it with some color and hoping that that will distract. I mean, yeah, putting color in your pancake is, yeah. I mean, a pretty good pretty, idea. Pretty good move. Oh, the mask is pink. Oh, how did I almost forget that? I think that's it. I think we're done, guys. We just gotta wait for it to cook and see what it looks like. How's How are all the stars gonna, the stars aren't gonna stay connected. No, I'm just gonna decorate the part of the stars. There's, oh, no, he looks so cute. He even got his little eyebrows. Thank you very much. He's cute. looking yeah, he's cute. In fact, I think his big eyebrows are ready uh, to be flipped. So, come on, uh, Gustav! Oh no, I'm worried about this arm. Oh no, the arm is scaring me. Oh no, all right, come on, Gustav. Come on, right on the money. Three, two, one. Oh no, oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, yes! Oh, he's okay! <laughs> Gustav! Ha <laughs> ha, there he is! Look at that guy! We're gonna flip our pancake. We're gonna start with our little baby stars because maybe those, oh, they're burnt. Maybe we won't put them on the plate after all. Maybe. Their body looks like an egg. Mm. Ooh, whoa! She's Ooh. a little sunburned. She's been fighting. No, she's dirty. She's been fighting like in a desert or something. What's dirty? Because 
A desert. A desert. Why, why, why didn't that work? Yeah. <laughs> So she's been, she's been fighting all day in a desert, and that's the reason why she looks that way, but she won the battle just like she's gonna win this round. That's all the justification I can give it. All right, we are at the final round of our Heroes vs. Villains Pancake Challenge. And again, Bree's up first with, wow, a super nice Super Luann. She's got cool stars all around her and on her outfit. Man, she looks like she's going to be doing a big attack. She looks happy, but a little dirty from battle. She's still looking good. Nice pancake, Bree. And now for Bradley's final one. Oh, it's Gustav, Gus's rival. He sure is looking happy though. Probably because of all that money in his pockets. Nice touch. He's got his mustache and evil eyebrows that big evil smile. He's looking great. Looks just like him. Oh, well, this is such a hard pick. I don't know which one to choose. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. It's Gustav. Bradley wins. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Great job, Gustav. Oh, I've had two mustache wins. Oh, yeah, see, the mustache luck. You know, I just feel like the superheroes, you know, they have to come out on top eventually. So we will be back for part two, and then I'll win them. So it's fine. Oh. Wait, part three. I'll win part three. See, she, can, she doesn't even know what part she's on. Okay, come on. You need, no. to, you need to practice more. You need to eat, drink, and sleep more pancakes. Great job, Bradley. Now, before we go, let's take some time to appreciate some of the best and worst pancakes of Ryan's world. To kick off this recap, we've got to start out with the greatest superhero of all time. That's right, it's Red Titan! <laughs> oh, Red Titan has seen better days than with Loanne. Sean's pancake looks pretty good. It just looks a little freaked out by Loanne's pancake. Ah! Next up, let's see some different interpretations of my favorite fancy feline, Alpha Alexa. Okay, who made the most Alpha awesome Alpha? <laughs> well, definitely not Bree. That pancake doesn't look happy. Sean's looks pretty good. A little messy, but she looks happy to be there. How'd Loanne do? Oh, oh, another oof for Luann. Well, Alpha, someone got you right at least. Now let's check out some pancake versions of the marvelous monster, Moe. Ooh, and so far the Moe's have been the most awesome. Paul got his right on the money. Luann's is looking a little red, but not an oof this time. It just looks like he's like a uh, gummy mo. Yeah, we'll go with that. Gummy pancake mo. You know I can't leave out my best bro. The baddest shark in the sea. They do. How'd they do? Whoa, showing off the pancake scales. Look at John's scale. It's perfect. And Bree's got like a, a little off gill in just his face. It's Big Gill and Small Gill. And of course, we can't leave out Kate and Emma. They both look awesome. Now it is time for the award portion of our recap. First up, we have the honorable mentions. Heck, Gilberto is doing peck. Everyone's saying, oh gosh, but oh gosh, that's actually pretty good. I give it a spectacular And Robo Combo! Wow, and that's a big Robo Combo head! We must have giant mech Robo Combo! But, uh, pancake form. <laughs> and the best likeness for Ryan's World Pancake goes to. Guys! Ooh, look at that face! Look at that shirt! Look at the letters. It's all so perfect. Pancake perfect. He's Gus, the perfect pancake gainer. 
And that's why he wins our top award! Way to go, little gamer! For our final award, and the conclusion of our recap section, the most unforgettable pancake! Unforgettable because it is most likely to haunt my dreams! Dark Titan! Oh my gosh! Daniel really messed up his face! He just looks horrified to even be a pancake! Well, and he horrifies me too! That's what you get for being mean, though! Thank you, everyone! Now back to our regularly scheduled programming! Well, I'm really tired. I feel like we've made a lot of pancakes today, uh, you know, so I need to go sleep some pancake. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more fun studio space challenges that we're doing, right? <laughs> yeah! Like, uh, hopefully at some point in time, I'll be able to make some better pancakes and beat you. Oh yeah, we're one Again. to one. We're one to one. Who's gonna, who's gonna break the tie? We have to have at least some. Yeah, it's me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. All right, I'm going home. Bye! Bye! <laughs>